Right, update time, and it is a big one today. We have ourselves a mount kit. In this box right here are all the brackets and stuff that I need to get my M45 supercharger mounted into the engine bay of the MX-5. Let's open this thing up and take a closer look. So what I have here is G19 Engineering's M45 kit for the MX-5 and this lot is specifically designed to get my Mini Cooper S supercharger mounted in the engine bay of the MX-5. So let's have a look at what we've got here. We've got an inlet and an outlet for the supercharger itself and a blank plate for the water pump takeoff at the back of the supercharger once that's removed which I still need to do. So these items uh, I'll be installing in the next episode of this series when I do the final part of supercharger charger prep so keep an eye out for that all right moving on we have this beefy bracket to secure the supercharger to the engine and this thing's made out of eight millimeter ten millimeter steel at a guess thick whatever it is heavy is good heavy is reliable <laughs> right next we've got the belt tensioner system because obviously we need to get a belt from the crank of the engine to drive the supercharger and incorporate the power steering pump at the same time so that's what this device is for um, then we have an inlet pipe a small filter which I'm assuming goes on the end of the mini bypass valve and then a belt which I'm not sure is going to work with me because I fitted the calves reduction pulley as you saw in the last episode I might need to get a shorter belt but I'll cross that bridge when I come to it oh and then finally we have some hardware and stuff and I think that's about everything in this box so that's just a really quick look at what we have in here and obviously you're gonna see a lot more of this stuff as the build progresses and we get the supercharger installed so this M45 kit from G19 has been in the works for over a year now and to be honest uh, when I first heard about it it's what gave me the idea to do this series right here so I put my name down for one last year now being one of these early adopters as G19 called it did have its benefits the main one being the price if you wanted to buy this exact kit right now from G19 it would cost you 576 pounds but being an early adopter I paid 480 pounds uh, actually there was seven pound postage as well just to be straight with you guys so this kit cost 487 pound which brings our total over the 1500 pound mark and stands at 1674 pounds so from here on out things are going to get pretty exciting because finally we can work on getting the supercharger installed into the mx5 and get the mx5 making some boost so stay tuned if you want to stay up to date with the build subscribe to the channel if you want to and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it thanks and i'll see you for the next episode